Welcome back to Tom's Gear Garage again. Good morning, everybody. What is happening? Happening. Ooh, today. Today. Oh, look at there, pal. It's a Troy built pressure washer with a Honda GCV 160. This thing's pretty crusty looking. This was picked up at an estate sale for 10 bucks. Well, we're gonna see if this thing's any good. It's been sitting for years in somebody's shed. <sighs> Christy. Yeah, look at that. It's even got little dirt daubers in the, in the pull handle. What do you guys up north call dirt daubers? I heard them call different things. Because a lot of times, you know, there's a lot of hunters that'll let their ATV sit all summer and then come wintertime, time to go hunting, they won't crank. Well, those little dirt daubers love building a nest inside the muffler. Well, they'll build a little nest anywhere they can. Look at there. They built in that little hole right there. Ooh, little dirt daubers. Well, let's see, I've already checked the oil, but we're gonna change it anyway, but the oil is, uh, the level's up, and it's not that bad. It's good enough to crank it, because I want to crank it, get it a little warm, then we'll dump the oil out. But the fuel tank, hmm, that little red thing here ain't removable. The tank is completely dry. Hmm, really ain't got much smell to it. But we're gonna pull this thing apart. We're gonna pull the gas tank off, dump it, blow it out, clean it real good, make sure it's perfectly clean. Look, the gas was left on. So you know the carburetor. I got a bad feeling about that carburetor. I do, I do. Yeah, look at that big old, big old roach. Ooh, boy, this thing is nasty. Good grief. Whew. But that's what we're gonna do. That air filter don't look bad. We'll reuse that air filter. Well, well, let me grab my little flashlight. Where's my flashlight? Oh, there it is. Let's see, let's shine a light in there and just take a gander. Just take a gander. It looks pretty clean up inside that carburetor. It do. Uh, but, oh yeah, okay. I was gonna say the, this one don't have the auto choke. It's got the manual. I was gonna say something wrong with the choke mechanism. Mechanism. But this one's got the manual. So we're gonna get a new spark plug and, yep. We're gonna get this thing going, see if it works, hook it up. I'm gonna use this pressure washer to uh, pressure wash it <laughs> when we're done. Y'all hang with me, let's get busy. All right. I'm gonna pull this fuel line off. Gotta be careful, don't wanna hurt that plastic valve. You can break it. I've seen them broke. Get that fuel line off there without hurting it. Let me get on this side of you there. There we go. Look at there, absolutely nothing in it. Absolutely nothing. No go away. I'm gonna pull that cover and fuel tank assembly off. And I hope I can get this off without pulling that whole stud out of the block like I usually do. This is the one that usually, this stud is what holds the ignition coil. Oh yeah, I got lucky there. Got lucky there. Got lucky there again, heck yeah. Yeah. I always try to look out for creepy crawlies from something that's been sitting in the shed for a long time. Oh yeah. There's got to be some creepy crawlies in here or somewhere I can feel. Look in here real good, make sure ain't nothing hiding. Ready to pounce. Looks pretty good. 
Hmm. I'm gonna just take my air hose. Take my air hose. And blow the fuel tank out. Give it a little puff right there. Clean that screen in the bottom of the tank. That looks pretty clean. Oh yeah, that's nice and clean. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna... You know, I ought to just put gas in it and just see if it'll run, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna pull this carburetor off. Just pull that carburetor off. Put the carburetor on. Pull that crankcase vent hose off of it. There we go. Ooh, creepy. Creepy. Creepy crawlies. Ooh. I'm gonna loosen that and get, get this big bracket out of the way. Well, my battery's done. Let me get a fresh battery. Get a fresh battery. Let's get some of the charger. There we go. Well, this thing is tight right here. There we go. Now we get the fuel line out of the way. Well, I'm just gonna take the whole thing off this one piece. Well, yeah, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Just get it out of the way if I can. I want to get this governor. Yeah, well, it's hard to get in there to get that fuel line. Yeah, well, that fuel line is just petrified to it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just gonna take this bowl off the way it, the way it sits. I'm gonna get that gasket off. It'll break and tear. Uh oh! Just as I thunk. Well. Golly. Ooh, look at that. Man. Let me hit pause. I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of this part. I'm not gonna reuse that bowl, but I can, in my carburetor graveyard over there, I'm sure I got a good bowl that's not dirty. And yeah, we're gonna see about, we're gonna see about cleaning this carburetor. Wow. Let me go ahead and finish getting this thing off. And that fuel line is just absolutely petrified to it. Hmm. Hmm. You got to remember to hook up this governor return spring. It goes there. Hmm. 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 Throttle shaft off there. A 
Mm. Well, only thing holding it now is that fuel line, but I don't believe this fuel line is going to want to come off. There it goes. Woo. And remember, this choke lever goes in this front hole. Let me take my air hose and blow this thing off real good. Ooh. Is that needle stuck in there? Nope. It's not stuck. Boy, that thing sure is crusty. Look at that main jet. Ooh. Ooh. Let me see if I can get this gasket off without hurting it. We can reuse the gasket. Yeah, I know I got another gasket in stock. I'm, if I heard it, I just heard it. We'll just get another gasket. Hmm. Yeah, I may take this carbur. I know everybody's screaming right now. Everybody's screaming. Ultrasonic cleaner. I may take it up there to Johnny's shop and use his ultrasonic cleaner. I'll let him have it because I don't ever use it. And he could certainly use it in his locksmith shop. I don't know. I'm just old fashioned, I guess. I just like to clean carburetors by hand the old fashioned way. There we go. I still got a gallon of that. You know, you can go to the auto parts store and get a gallon of that carburetor cleaner. You just dump the whole carburetor in it and let it sit, which is what I'm probably gonna do. Yeah, let me show you this. That carburetor cleaner, that gallon right there. I don't know how good that stuff is. It's been up there for about 15 years. <laughs> I need to go get a fresh gallon. That stuff can't be that expensive. Hmm. See if I can get this gasket off too. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let this carburetor soak. I'm gonna take them completely apart. Take the jets out. Or I may just stick it in there with the jets and everything in because all that corrosion, it's gonna be hard to get them jets out in the emulsion tube. So I'm just gonna let it soak like it is, get the gaskets off and float and needle, get this gasket off, this bowl of gasket if I can, and just dunk. And then we'll go through the carburetor box and get another bowl. I ain't gonna try to clean that one. That thing's crusty. go Whew, I wonder how much luck I'll have getting this bowl gasket out none no luck
We may need to get another carburetor. I bet you I'm gonna try to clean this one. That's what we'll do. We'll stick in this gallon overnight, like I do sometimes. Get all my toys out on top of it. I found this laying out in the street. I don't know what that is. I guess it's some kind of toy from some kids movie or something. It just laying out in the middle of the road. I'm like, oh, I gotta get that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pop the lid off of this thing. This is pretty good stuff. I've had, you know, pretty good luck using this stuff before. <clears throat> I like the smell of it too. <clears throat> Call me crazy. Let's see if I can get this idle circuit screw out. Oh, there it goes. That wasn't tight at all. Them things are usually pretty tight. All right, I'm just going to leave everything else together. Put that in there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put that needle in there. I will put the bowl, the bowl nut bolt back in there. I will put it in there. Let's see, what else do we need to put in there? Oh, that's about it. Good night, little carburetor. We'll see you in the morning. All righty. When I snap my fingers, it'll be tomorrow. Pow pow! 24 hours later. Woo! Another beautiful day. All right, man. Let's, uh, I ain't opened this thing yet. Let's see how. Let's see how this carburetor cleaner has done. Let's see the results. Let's see the result. Let's see the result. Get the camera. Let me grab another can of carb cleaner. That was about empty. That was about empty. Far so good. So far, so good. It looks like it's gone pretty clean. Let me blow it off a little bit. That bowl gasket don't look bad either. It's not hurt from the carb cleaner. Yeah. 
Okay. It didn't seem to have hurt the gaskets. Huh. Okay. Ooh, that stuff's cold on your fingers. Okay, I believe we're good. I believe we are pretty good. Let me set this over here. Yeah, you can see the metal is kind of pitted. I'm just worried about trying to unscrew that main jet and you can see the stuff still in there. Yeah, it seems to be coming out. So we'll get some of that crud out of there. I don't want to damage the threads. Okay. You can still see that main jet clogged completely up. Okay. See. Gotta be very easy. Very easy and very gentle. Mm -mm. I'm not going to be able to get it out. It's frozen there. And I can see I've already got the slot kind of messed up now. Nope. Nope. Mm. It's too it's too corroded and froze. Yep. You're not getting that out. But I will take one more last shot here and just try to clean it this way. And you can see it coming out the top there. This thing may, may well have a surge in it. I bet this thing is gonna surge. I bet it will. I bet it's going to have a good search because I can't get the emulsion tube out to clean the emulsion tube. Yeah, I can see through the... I can see through the main jet. I can see the stuff inside that emulsion tube. Yep. Yep. Let me use a little bit, a little bit bigger one. This one's going to be too big. So is that one. Hmm. I want to find the biggest one I can that's going to fit in that hole. That one's too big. We'll just have to go with this one, I guess. Let's see here. Mm, boy, even that one's too big. We'll go back to the original one here. It's open, but I 
could have got that thing out. It looks like it's pretty clear though now. Yeah. Yes. You can see it's pretty clear now. All we can do is put it together and try it. That's all we can do. Let's do it. What have we got to lose? Looks pretty clean in there now. I am going to be so surprised if this thing doesn't surge. Uh oh. Money. Okay. There you go. Now where'd the bowl go? Oh, I don't have a bowl. Let me hit pause. I gotta go find another bowl. Okay, here's my box of carburetors. This one is not exactly the same, but it's the same, same size. It ought to work. Let me grab my, grab my tool over here, boy. Let's see what kind of shape this one's in. Oh, it was already loose. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of dirty and kind of cruddy. Yeah, that was cruddy. I don't like that one. Oh, let's see what else we can find. Here's this one. That was already loose too. I don't know what in the world that is. Yeah, this one's nice and clean here. Yeah. Oh, wrong carburetor. Yeah, this is the one we're working on. No. Oh, I left that guy there getting so confused. I left that carburetor over there. <laughs> there it is. All right. I believe that's going to be good. Let me hit this with a wire wheel. Well, I'm gonna use that other bolt I took out of the other one. Yeah, I'll use this bolt here. It's nice and clean. This in here is still real cruddy. Uh-oh. Good Lord. More money. Okay. Well, we'll give this a try. See what kind of, I'll put this screw back in there. See what kind of look we're gonna to have today. It's a beautiful day, we're gonna have some good luck. If not, we'll just buy another carburetor. I'll get an aftermarket carburetor on Amazon, them things are cheap. I think you can get one for, I, I don't know, less than $20, I would imagine. But it's worth a shot to try this one. Ooh, that thing's crusty. Okay, we'll get everything set back up here and we'll get this carburetor put back on. All right, all right. Get this bad boy put together. Well, I forgot what hole goes where. Get the little springy dingy in there. Oop. Hit pause one second. Okay.
Get on there. Line everything up real good. Don't forget to pop the fuel line back on. Oop. I got the fuel line on above that thing right there. Let me fix that. That's got to go down yonder. what I'm doing. Grab my little needly nose. That fuel line on there. Well, let me just back out of the way. Get that back out of the way. See what I'm doing. I wish I had three hands. Day by day, I just don't care for working on these darn Hondas. Just wait we get it. We're gonna get it. Okay. Just make sure everything's lined up. Make sure you get that gasket on there and don't miss the hole. That gasket be hanging right there in front of the throat of the carburetor. All right. Put that wire right there. Make sure the choke works. It do. And then let's not forget to put that crankcase vent tube on there. All right. Make sure nothing's in a bind. And we can't forget about that governor spring. Yeah, let's see, this governor spring hooks right there. Alright, fuel lines on. Let's 
starter on there. Everything is sitting nice and flat like it should. Put the three little nuts back on. Don't want to get them nuts too tight because that will cause that stud to back out. If we have to take it back apart, which I think we might. All right, moment of truth, man. Let's pour some fuel in it. Fuel is on. That should be enough. And we'll give it a minute to fill up the bowl and see if we're going to have any leaks. I don't want to run this thing no more than a handful of seconds because I don't want it to be without water in the pump. All right. That should be long enough. Choke on. Let me set this camera back. Before I hit it with my elbow. Choke on, on, pull. I can't believe that was able to save that thing. That runs pretty good. No surgeon. Well, it's going to be a good day, Tater. All right. Guys, it's got us a good pressure washer now. I'm going to take it out here and hook it up. Check the pump. I'm sure the pump works. Because it shot water out of it. All right. There you go, boys and girls. Another Tom W video. Saving a little pressure washer from the heap. Ah, y'all be good, and I will catch y'all on the next one, man. Love you guys.